Okay, so if you've seen a few of my videos, um, you've seen that I have installed the, the ref counter in there um, and some other cool things, the auto wipers, the auto lights and so on. Um, I'm also going to be installing um, fog lights very soon, but all those things, they require coating by uh, Mercedes-Benz. Unless you get hold of a laptop that has the DDT for all software, uh, which is basically Renault based uh, coding software. Um, I'm gonna code all these things myself today. And you'll notice if I turn on the car here <clears throat> that the rev counter, even though I rev up the car, is dead. Um, the auto wiper stock here. Well, it's, it's installed, but the, the, the wipers, they don't go on by themselves. The auto light, that works. The, the car comes pre-coded with that. So once you change the, the stock here for the auto lights, that's automatically working, but the auto wipers will not be working. Um, with that stock also comes a switch for uh, front fog lights, but nothing happens in the dashboard uh, when I turn the switch. If I turn on the, oh, sorry, if I turn on the, the rear, fog lights they work but the front nothing pops on so my plan is to install the front fog lights um, and I want to control them from the original switch so hook it up to the original wiring loom and then activate this switch here others have added um, aftermarket switches down here but I'm not interested in that so um, today I'm gonna code a few things so you can see how it's done uh, the ref counter will be activated yeah, I'm gonna code the front fog light switch uh, I'm gonna put on follow me home lights and I'm gonna activate the the uh, auto wipers if I turn off the car now and take out the key you can turn on the follow me home by simply flashing the headlights um, or the high beam lights that doesn't work that requires coding as well um, so uh, the way to do this is to get a hold of a laptop and I managed to borrow a laptop that has the DDT for all software and then you need one of these um, ODB2 interfaces. It has to be a certain version. <clears throat> this one is called version 1.5. I don't know if that matters, but the chipset inside of this has to be of a certain um, date or a certain version. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect your laptop to the to the smart uh, onboard computer. I will text. Or I will put put in the comments below um, which version you need and a link to this. I bought it on eBay, uh, ten bucks, and the software. I'm not sure where you can get that, but I'm sure you can download it somewhere um, on the internet. Huge disclaimer, I cannot and will not be responsible for what you do to your own car. This is some um, pretty serious stuff. You can really um, mess up your car with all the settings that you can control um, in this DDT for all software. Um, so just be aware. I will not be able to help you with any questions. I will not uh, take responsibility if you are playing around with this. But let me just connect this here. Connected mode. There you go. Let's see. Okay. So in this DDT for all software, <clears throat> there are a few settings that I would like to show you. Uh, you can, it's a Renault based software. So you basically have all of the um, Renault models here. Now the Smart 453 is basically a Twingo 3. Uh, clicking that will bring up all the modules that are available in the Renault Twingo. But no need to do that. If you click on this little button here and then ask, um, hold on a second, let's see why it doesn't want to do that. Let's see. No, sorry, it's a one hand job here, let's see. Click that one. Yeah, there you go. Scan options. And if you scan the CAN bus here <clears throat> at the bottom, you'll see now that it's scanning the entire car. And it will actually bring up in this section here some yellow items. It's very hard to read. But that is basically the modules that are available in the Smart 453. Making it a little bit easier, instead of looking through all of these various modules, then it will only show you the ones that are um, the ones that are available for your car. And when it's done, and it is now here in short while done um, I have around five six uh, modules available that I'm only going to be using two today one is the cluster and if I click on that not that one that one there and go down there and say configuration and config vehicle 
Then over on the big screen here, if I select screen, <clears throat> here you'll see um, a number of settings for the car. This one is an automatic gearbox. It has uh, ECS, it has uh, ET uh, TPMS and so on. And down here, there is a setting for without additional instrument. The additional instrument is actually the ref counter. So if I go here and if I turn that on and say with additional instrument, and I don't know if I have to click that add, I did that. Oh, block command, X, activate expert mode to unlock. So up here, um, you have to click this little man here. That's expert mode. It comes to after sales um, changes, I guess it's called. So let's see here, with additional instrument, add. And then at the bottom, there's a, there's a, there's a button here in French, but this apparently means uh, commit or save settings. And when I do that, <clears throat> it's actually done now. The dashboard is, is off, so you can see it's sort of hovering, it's doing some stuff here. And if I turn on the car now, uh, let's see if I have the keys. Note that that now is alive. Um, and that means I have activated the additional instrument or the rev counter. Now I can leave the car on for the next few settings. I can also, if you have a need for it, I can add the ambient light. It's deactivated on my car. Now I don't have the lights installed, but you'll see how, what happens when I actually activate that. And I set down here, commit. And if I go up to the dashboard, you'll see that it turns off, turns on again. <clears throat> and in the settings, if I scroll through all the settings here, This one here, change settings. Let's see. Well, that didn't work, that's strange. Ambient light. Let's try that again, let's see if it works. Sorry, this won't focus. There's the setting for ambient lighting. So you can turn this on and off. Um, but it does, obviously it doesn't work because this car doesn't have the lights installed. But just to show you that there are a variety of settings that can be changed here. I'm gonna turn this ambient one off again because I don't need that. And then say that one and that one down here. There. Uh, the other things that are available for changes uh, they can be found in the menu called emm edison over here and again it's very hard to read but emm edison uh, if i double click that and at the bottom it takes a little while here down here you can control a lot of things um, one section is called washer wiper or wiping and washing and if i select that and say you, there's calibration and configuration i'm going to do the configuration now the first one you'll notice that it says auto wipe, read zero, write zero. That basically means zero means it's not activated, one means it's activated. So I'm gonna activate the expert mode here and I'm gonna change this one to a one. That means I have now, and then sent. I have now turned on my auto wipers and if I then here uh, put it down to auto, it'll stop now because there's no rain, but now it's on auto mode and it works. I checked it before posting this video. Uh, the other setting that I want to change here is, you can see that there's a setting for light sensor and that's already activated. So the Smart 453 comes by default with activated light sensor. There's some light sensitivity, uh, sensitivity, sens sensitivity, I don't know how, what that is, but what I find annoying sometimes is that when I drive under a bridge, um, the lights turn on and, and it, it, we're talking about one or two seconds under a bridge and I find it annoying that the, the sensor is very sensitive um, so maybe that can be changed I haven't gotten around playing around with that yet but let's find the other settings I want to change uh, and it's found under the lighting here so again configuration variety of things that can be changed here for the headlights and the rear lights and everything tail lights what I'm gonna find here is uh, let's see here auto light is already activated there follow me home and front fog lamp zero zero but if I turn that to a one 
and also the other one here, the front fog lamp. And say, oh, we need to activate the expert mode and send. I have now activated my my uh, lights. If I turn on the lights here, you should be able to see that now my front fog lamp is working. Um, and if I turn off the car, let's put it to auto. If I turn off the car, take out the key, and just flash the headlights one time, you'll note that the lights stay on so that the follow me home function is now working. And that's it, guys. That was what I wanted to show you. Um, what can be done with this, there are a lot of settings in here and be aware it can be very dangerous and you can seriously mess up with your, uh, with your car's computer. But if you just go with the safe bets like I showed you, you should be able to uh, do the coding yourself. Uh, very simple and, and it takes literally only a few minutes. I do think that if you take your car into service uh, with Mercedes-Benz, they may override all the settings that you've done. So you will have to redo that. But again, it's only a matter of uh, a few minutes and you're back to, to what you had before. All right, guys, have fun.